So I thought I'd try a different method for recording sorties today. I just noticed a weird energy thing there. Let's leave it there so it happens again. But uh, instead of recording just the last one, there's three interesting ones up, so I'm just going to do them all live. Kind of stream practice, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that looks fucking weird to me. Anyway, so this is the loadout I had for my last uh, sortie, aside from the Lex, because I was just doing some testing. I'm just going to each quest to randomize my loadout, just for fun. I think the first one was a assault rifle only. Oh, we got an assault rifle, so that's fine. And I was going to do that multiple times until we met the criteria, but one was enough. So we got free room, assault rifle, we got assault, physical enhancement, and we got defection sniper only. So I don't, I've done assault like a total of like 10 times. I don't really remember a whole lot about it. The planes is obviously random, but it's pretty low level enemy, so it doesn't matter. And defection will be interesting. Particularly with the sniper rifle and not being able to choose which frame I take because I won't be able to heal them in any way, so we'll just see how that goes. It's mostly because the three sorties are interesting to me today, but I've been thinking a lot about streaming and just, you know, I don't really speak a lot naturally. Obviously, if I was streaming and I had a few people watching, then I would have the chat to interact with, but like actually recording these videos without that. It was a bit different. So I just thought I'd see how it went. If it's crap, you won't be seeing this video anyway, so it doesn't matter. I forgot this is a burst weapon. <laughs> I saw someone that had a Riven that made the burst fire absolutely insane. I don't think they had any elementals on it. I was just destroying yeah, the guys in the sim, obviously. I did not realize this drone went through this cave. I mostly use well, when I use this weapon. I don't actually like it very much. But when I do use it, it's in automatic. Pretty easy so far. There's too much health to worry about. I don't pay attention to what weapon my carrier has. Dunzo. Caches. Pretty easy one. I already heard this guy. You can just use the scanner to look through the terrain. I usually do a lap around the perimeter and then sort of move into the center. There's usually two around the outside and one somewhere in the middle. They're often in these camps like that one is. I also didn't realize iron skin got reset when you drop out of an arc wing or when you step into an arc wing, presumably. Makes sense, but I don't think I've ever had a rhino on the planes before. There's the other one. Very easy, very simple. Charge the processor with Drockle. I don't have a secondary. It's a bit inconvenient. You have to break stuff. The abilities, or I guess bullet jumps. I don't even know where one would find Grok Draw. Do I have to be holding it? Yes, apparently. That's quite the problem. I guess my best bet is to go and find crates and smash those open or kill enemies from range. Well, I have carrier, so he's busting crates for me. I'll take that. With the amount of Atan sculptures I have from sorties, I have completely run out of these amber stars. And I've got like 30 extra uh, sculptures to fill. So I guess I'm going to kill a few of these from range and just see how that works. I'll see not those two.
What is going on here? I think the drop chance for Grokdor is increased on enemies during this mission. You seem to be able to find it pretty reliably. Maybe it's only when you're actually holding the canister. It's a Rubico, I think. Maybe just Grokdor. Let's go and find out. One. That was Rubidoux. Alright. Let's go to some of the main camps and have a look around. Or maybe we won't. There's a big red area saying that I can't leave it. I don't know if you can't actually leave it or not. Does my sentinel have a weapon? It has the sweeper. Does raw buff the sentinel? It's <laughs> interesting. Very interesting way to work it. I have no idea what build is on that. I did used to use it for the same reason I use the Prisma Burst Laser now, which is just crowd control. So it probably doesn't even have damage mods on it. I think I'll show all the builds after each one, after each sortie if I remember to. Is he shooting? Yes. Seven, eight. Slowly getting through it. I should probably just ignore the heavies, but I messed the way through it now, so it doesn't matter. I don't think I've ever had to rely on my sentinel to do something for me before. To do a sortie for me before. At the very least. Hey! I don't know if this will shoot down. It would eventually. I guess I got the ghouls back. I actually found these guys to be quite a hassle when I was doing my consistency challenges. Whenever they would appear it was... I almost had to write them off. I had to, I had to stop doing those challenges during these events just because there's so much more... so many more enemies around. Quite awkward. It looked like the timer there had stopped whilst the enemies were nearby. Seems like a really weird mechanic. And it may have been in my head because they're all right next to it now and it's not happening, so... Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Get some free lore, I'll take it. The fact that they made these guys actually drop it as a drop instead of just being completely reliant on the bounty drop table is a really good move I think but like most things they do they did it far too late after all the people that cared about that had already put in the effort to farm it bit of a dick move I haven't played Rhino in a very long time There's another one. Done. Easy. Amber Star. It's one of two I'll need for the reward that I'll get at the end of the third one, no doubt. There's my uh, tier 4 amp in the top right there. Which, as everyone that used it would know, it got nerfed pretty hard. Let's just have a look at these builds while we're here. A generic iron skin one, well, I guess not generic, it's got the Umbra mods in there now. 
Tiburon, my generic assault rifle one. Hybrid. Hybrid with corrosive weight, I guess. So, crit mods, status mods, prime trade because it's awesome, and just status weight on top of the other stuff. Carrier is what it always is. And sweeper. Yeah, so it's built for fire rate, spread, punch through, reload speed, which I don't remember if that matters or not. And just status, which is radiation cold in this case. Which is interesting because I usually just blast an electric. But anyway, second one was physical enhancement. Uh, assault. So I just randomize it. They said they fixed that hitch. It doesn't really seem like they did. So we got Nova, we got the Phage, Dex Furious, Shaku. I'm pretty sure they are supposed to come together. I'm not going to look at the builds now. I've got a pretty good idea of what they are anyway. We'll look at them after the mission. Just because it makes it more interesting for me. I don't think the Dex Furious are very good. I don't really remember, but I don't think they're very good. And the Shaku, I think they're nunchucks. I didn't. I should actually pay more attention to what's going on. Right, reach the gates. Plug that in. It's interesting that they hadn't noticed me. I may have been able to plug it in and hide. And that wouldn't have been a problem. There are Dargans here. Dargans? Dargan, yeah. I was told a long time ago that you could come here to do the... You know, you can kill... I forget what it is. It's a Riven challenge that requires you to kill these things with a bow or... I don't know if the pilots will fall out here. I can't tell if it did or not. Doesn't look like it. But if you have to come here, uh, if you have to kill a whole bunch of them with a bow, you can do it that way. I feel like that is wearing off really quickly, but it's not, it's just in my head. It's probably going to be a lot, uh, a lot worse in terms of performance, seeing as I'm not resetting every time I make a mistake. It's also weird having this sentinel with this weapon. Ooh, Rampart. Because usually I can just start those hacks and rely upon my sentinel to defend me from those guys that are nearby. Ooh, I'm gonna get wrecked. I don't know what killed me then. Was it him? Yes, it must have been. But you can see that would have been a reset. He did try, he stunlocked the first guy, and he did stunlock the second one. I didn't think the second one would have been able to kill me in the time it took me to hack that. As it was these guys. Shooting through the window. I swear when I went down, the first thing I saw was the projectiles of one of those coming through the windows, but I couldn't tell if it actually was or not. I'm gonna pretend that it was. I'm not sure if that was in-game, or if that was one of my neighbours being excessively loud. Hopefully it wasn't intrusive, if it was the latter. We'll find out in recording, in editing. Right, command center. Alright, oh, yeah. gotta get all the keys, I gotta defend it. Comes a mobile defense. I think I have to go and break something. Break the gun, I think. Alright. One. Looks like one was pretty close. This one is on the ground.
to... Oh, this thing. I think I have to shoot some of that, don't I? In there? Can I slide in there? Can I portal in there? Yes, I can. I remember how to get in there. I think these guys have as much armor as bombards. Bombards? One of the heavies. I don't remember if it's bombards or gunners. Now, let's try out this furious a bit. Hey! I mean, the damage is alright. Obviously, everything's primed, so it's taking double. But man, that recoil and the loss of accuracy that comes with it. Pretty crazy. I don't know if it's supposed to be this fast or if I've got some excessive fire rate mods on here. This is not too bad if you fire it in bursts. Fire the cannon, that's right. So we fire the cannon, blow up a ship, I think. And then. Oh. Yeah, that guy. And then we go and break the cannon. What's my melee? Sharky. Let's try that on someone. It's only doing an electric proc. I would have thought that if I had a weapon that had an uh, innate electricity, it'd be doing corrosive. That looked like it was doing viral, so I guess viral electricity I've got. That's right, and the whole thing breaks. Yep. That's a really smooth animation, I quite like that. We don't want to be down here, do we? Wait, I want to be down there. I don't know if those paths coincide. Looks like they do. I don't really spent a whole lot of time here, apart from when I was learning to do spy. Okay. Six minutes. Yeah, Shaku. Go and look at those builds now as well. And the only difficult one of the three is going to be the last one. I won't be able to heal anything unless I get stupidly lucky. So Nova build, got my guardians on there. Age, was fire rate. Mostly corrosive with a bit of viral. I think it's a viral innate. Yes, that makes sense. The Furious is the same build as the last gun I had, basically. Uh, the Tiburon Prime, literally exactly the same except a pistol variant so it's got all your hybrid mods got your crit and what crit status and the corrosive weight just to proc that more shaku is a generic build so there's blood uh drifting contact instead of organ shatter in there which i'm sure people will tell me off having blood rush but fuck off out of that Durga? Durga? Electropulse. I think I built this one again recently and I haven't used it much. Obviously I've formatted it, but I don't really remember like, looking into it a lot. This is viral. My second serration that I didn't max because when I was leveling stuff I didn't have enough points to put it in. That makes sense. We got viral. Fire rate because it has an incredibly slow rate. Yes. Ridiculously so. I think I was going to get a Riven for this at some point. I haven't got around to it. So the last one is a Sniper only. So I'm just going to randomize that until we get a Sniper. Don't know how long that'll take. Zenith. Latron Wraith. Baza. It's an automatic Sniper Rifle. Rinlock, does that count? Let's go and find out. 
I don't think it does, I think it's just a lever action rifle, yeah. It's a shame. I don't think I've used that in a while. Okay, let's keep going. Rubike. So we got Harry, Rubike, Ak, Jigara, and a Polearm Zor. It's got the Taxon and the Sweeper Prime. So I'm not going to look at builds. I don't even remember. Let's look at abilities. It's kind of cheating. So we can protect them. We can't heal them with that, but we can heal them with his two, I think. Converting damage inflicted on enemies into health for... Yes, so we've got all positive stats, which I won't look at too closely. So we'll be able to heal. So I, I won't... I could have changed my focus to heal if I had to. But we'll see how we go. Defection is always just infested anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Sniper is probably built for viral. I usually put viral on my heavy hitting one shot weapons. Heavy hitting slow rate weapons is what I meant to say. Can't really see because they just die. It's pretty irrelevant though. And I realized I was looking at the melee and the secondary when I didn't need to be because I can't use them here. Alright. So we had all positive stats, which means hopefully that I have a bit of range. And I can heal these guys by damaging stuff nearby. I can use my one to crowd control some dudes if I need to. Whew. Basically nothing. It's just... Ooh, I've only got a 13 second duration on this guy. Thirteen second duration. I don't really... Yeah, you know, I have no idea what build is on him. So I guess whenever they go... Whenever they take damage, I can then heal them. But it's not something I can do preemptively. It doesn't even look like they're taking damage. I'm not sure if that's a bug, or if they've made it easier in solo or something, which I wish they would stop doing. It's a pain in the ass. It's two seconds with this guy up. Where are they going that way? So I guess they only take damage from enemies currently. Rubico is renowned for its slow reload speed, I think. It's like three seconds? Two and a half? I don't know. So I could use his three to generate energy. I don't know what the duration would be on that. Oh. I don't really need his, his fork to make them invulnerable, I guess, in a pinch if I need to. I definitely don't need the extra crit damage. Oh, look at chance, sorry. I don't really need to crowd control single single lines of enemies with this one either, so I guess it's just mostly it's two. Why well, can uh, why chain it and I can just shoot it? Hmm. So a red dot back there. I think the only ones that are real threats are these guys and the ancients. And the ancients less so. I'll try and keep them all out of their way anyway. I think I just got two of those with one shot. That was pretty cool. So that guy up front's taking a bit. This guy's alright. That's the dude in the middle struggling. Quit shooting and just run. I wonder if I could... That's 10 seconds, I can just block a choke point. Now they're all stuck there. That's pretty good use for it. I don't remember how Harrow generates overshields. Is it from shooting enemies that are chained? Shooting enemies in the head? I don't remember. I've also got... Argon scope on the Rubicon. I don't remember what its crit chance is. 
But if I have that, obviously didn't find it consistent enough. Let's leave those guys bunched up. If they catch up, I can just block them in a choke point again, probably. Although they shouldn't. No. That door hasn't opened yet, because that's obviously where extraction is going to be. But there are enemies in there anyway, which means there's less spawns out here, which makes it even easier, which is pretty pointless. I think Rubigo is a nice crit multiplier. I think... I don't think I've... I definitely haven't spent much time using this in a like a serious scenario. I don't remember trying it against Eidolons. Maybe I did once at the start. I know a lot of the, the professional guys that do six in a night use it now. I haven't really watched them and I haven't tried to replicate that. I'm going to take out the disruptors because they're just irritating. That guy has an Ignis. Looks like my range is pretty good. Oh, didn't even see him there. We got a couple lagging behind here. But they're not really taking any damage. This guy up here probably is. Sweet. Getting duped by that flying dude. They all look pretty good so far. Oh, I thought they were going that way, but they are definitely not. Hmm. They choose some weird routes. Very inefficient. Looks like we have a horde of them out there. By horde, I mean like six. I don't remember that shield mechanic. What is going on here? Nothing. I thought they had knocked him down somehow. Oops, zero energy, that's not good. I think that last guy I shot was a leech. Energy leech. So I've rescued two, we have to do five. None have died. It's pretty crazy. With them not taking this environmental like tick down damage you get when you don't have life support, it's pretty trivial because infested are not particularly dangerous. I hope that is a bug and not an intended mechanic. But it is probably the latter. We're not going to be that way. I also think the Artax is firing at enemies that are a bit out of the sweeper's range. I don't remember the default range that these sentinels have. But I feel like it's longer than out of the sweeper. No, oh, there are enemies spawning here. I guess it makes sense that carriers would spawn. I really thought they'd all be coming from this direction. Parasitic, they're called. There's two zooms. 3.5 to 6 is pretty good. Got 10 seconds of damage prevention. Oh, there goes my aiming. Let's do that again. Slow a few down. Got a charger up here. So we're gonna do one more after this. They haven't bugged yet, which is good. 
Look, I've been hit a lot, or is he taking damage still? Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, they're definitely not taking environmental damage, which is a real shame. I remember having to think up a lot of really obscure ways to heal these guys when I don't have the ideal frames, which for me is Oberon. Obviously, Trinity's pretty good. I guess Haru is would be pretty good in that situation. I don't think I don't remember if he was around back then. Was he introduced with this? I don't know. Time's a blur. That guy has a really thin hitbox. Wish they could apply such hitboxes to the Eidolons, that would be great. So you're not accidentally shooting doesn't matter. Let's not get into that. Back to C. This is the last one. The enemies have respawned here. Took health damage then. So we'll just do this. We have an abundance of energy. Take out the big guy, the flying guy. In the ancient as well. I think the only place I use snipers outside of sorties that force it like this is the Eidolons. You know, it was a big selling point of the Plains of Eidolon that you'd be able to use snipers across like a massive distance but there's never any reason to actually do so. I'm pretty sure killing these guys is just spawning them all in front of me again and making my life harder for no reason. Not much harder, obviously, but harder. Out of energy again. Is that right? Yeah. That guy rolled through a fence and the floor. Huh. I don't think I've ever had one of these at 0% before. Never heard that sound. Slow them down a bit. I wonder what Haru's maximum overshields are. I think his passive is that he gets double what people usually get. I don't know if overshields is increased by having shield mods, which it looks like I have Vigor on, primed Vigor. I don't have redirection or anything. Who else can get overshields? Trinity, obviously, Vault with Capitants, that augment, and Mag as well with her three. I really remember. I wonder who he has the highest overshield. I guess if it's his passive, it would be Harry. Alright. Not too bad, took us 12 minutes. Ooh, it's going to be a long recording. Credit booster. Yeah, not too bad. Let's go and look at the bills and then I'll wrap it up. Bills? Builds. Can't remember if I pronounced that properly. Look at Harry. General has 183 duration. I feel like his two is really short. Base duration 7.32. Yeah, that doesn't scale very well, does it? Boost reload and fire rate. I feel like that never used to be that short. I don't know if I'm missing something. It's really odd. No efficiency, bit of range, bit of strength. I don't remember what he needs strength for. I think that brings back how much overshields he gets a lot quicker. Not sure what else. Uh, how quickly his covenant will spool up, as it were. We got viral. Hug and scope because we only have 75%, makes sense to me. And vigilante because I'm not having 60s in here. Let's look at these other builds because we happen to roll them. This has shotgun status, I think. Maybe, I don't remember. I think they might have changed that. I think it used to. So I'm getting a lot of corrosive 
And obviously the reload was crap, so I put that in there as well. So we're ignoring crit. Makes sense to me. This will be my generic melee build with no arcane, because I never got around to looking at those. I'm pretty sure that's the bad stance too. Taxon. Pretty normal, we got that. That's pretty useful on frames like Trinity and Mesa that have damage reduction that applies to shields. Retarget, so that's 30 meters. Yeah, I don't remember how, how the range is on the sweeper here. Did I get the sweeper? Oh, I got the sweeper for 2 out of 3. I've only got 4 of these. I only keep the ones that I find useful. How many of these have I got? Hmm. Oh, there you have it. That's interesting. Let me know what you think. I don't know if I'll do that often, but I found those three to be potentially interesting. That's probably something I would do on stream if I were to stream. You see people doing that all the time. Free room, assault, and defection. Pretty interesting. I don't know how long I've been recording. It's probably far too long, so I'll see you later.